I'm gonna talk about playing for musical theater productions while I put away clothes in my youth orchestra shirt. Because that's all I wear is youth orchestra shirts, you know? Because that's all I have in t-shirts is band and orchestra shirts because it seems that everything you do they, they want to give you a shirt so generally when it's summer that's all you ever see me and 90 and most of my friends in is last year's regional orchestra shirt or like this year's youth orchestra shirt or it, it's crazy. Um, so, musical theater, which also gives you shirts, a lot of shirts, except they actually get more shirts because if you buy, if you do a winter, spring, and summer musical, you get three, you get a shirt for each one if you buy it, so at least in late mid they didn't give us a t-shirt and they had and you could buy a sweatshirt, which was kind of nice, which I most definitely did. But I'm going to talk about Les Mis, um, and my experience playing in Pit for the first time. Um, Pit books, when you get your Pit book, it looks intimidating, um, because they will be over 100 pages long. But then you open it and you realize that it's mostly whole notes. Um, the thing that's hard about musical theater is that there's a lot going on. Um, the thing that kind of was difficult for me, having always played in orchestra, is that it's not all about me. There's a lot of things to get together and working properly. Like, because, you know, with orchestra, the focus is the music do a concert, you know, and the focus is just on the orchestra, and there isn't as much focus on the pit, because we have to manage, um, actors and things and everything going on on the stage, so sometimes they'll call you there, like, they call me there to be at six, but we probably wouldn't start our run until seven, because they had so much stuff to do to get ready for that run with the actors and like running scenes and stuff that they didn't really need us to play for. So you kind of feel a little bit unimportant. Um, but you are. You just gotta realize that you're not the center of the universe like you are at an orchestra rehearsal. Um, there's... There... There will be cuts made in the music, and a lot of things to remember that like change every time. Um, like when, when I did Les Mis, there was parts of songs that because the mus the singer actors couldn't um, count correctly, we actually had to cut part of the song because they were literally just like skipping beats and it got all messed up and was very confusing. So, also there's just the general thing that you have to play with people and you know they're wrong, but you just have to go with it. Um, it it's like playing with singers, but worse. <laughs> because they're also trying to act. Um, there's some things that only happen in music, there's a couple things that only happen in musical theater where like, mu musically, like in your music, they'll put things in C flat major and not care. You, you'll go, in Les Mis at least, I don't think it's true in Sweeney Todd, but, um, which I'm getting ready for right now, but in Les Mis you, you play in every single key, every single key, you play in all of keys <laughs> and it's horrible because and then the key will change like every 10 bars so because that's just how musical theater likes to work um there will be vamps which you know if you haven't done musical theater you've likely never done a vamp um which it varies from night to night it'll be a little bracket usually like two or four bars um, and it'll say vamp, and you just 
repeat it until the actor is done doing whatever they're doing and then you go on and vamps can get very boring and don't get lost in them because you know you need to go on eventually um the if you've never played at a thing where they have to hook you up to a mic um they'll do they'll most likely do that um well they have to do that and sometimes uh audio stuff breaks uh, well not breaks but like sometimes stuff doesn't function correctly um and you won't be able to hear anything uh, <laughs> that's fun um but it, it it taught me how to be a more it's one of those how to be a more independent player because usually with cello for pit um you're the only one on your part uh because some they usually can only fit one or two cellos in the pit um so you're playing in or a part that's written for a section by yourself and so you have to sort of figure out how to do Debussy passages on your own. Usually it's best to just pick a part if there's sometimes, you know, because the other thing about Pitt is depending on your theater company, you might not have a full orchestra. You might just have what's what, like more important for that musical in the score. So you might have like a whole bunch of, like, it was really weird for Lemis. We had me, we had two violins, a horn, drums, piano, flute, and a guy that tripled on sax, soprano sax, and clarinet. So, it's kind of a weirdly put together ensemble. Um, so you have to be very independent with your part, and there might not, what I was getting to was there wasn't a bass, so every time I had a Debussy part I just played the lower part because I was the lowest instrument besides the piano, so it was important for me to play the lowest notes that I could because there was, there's, there's no bass. Um, It's important to take care of your, especially if you're going to do Les Mis, it's very important to take care of yourself, health-wise, like your body, because you're playing, Les Mis is about two and a half hours long, and it's completely musicked. Um, you, there's no spoken scenes, it's all music, so, and the cello plays for the whole time. So, you have to be careful and not, like, because basically what I ended up doing, you can't play like you play, like you play an or at an orchestra concert. You need to not work hard at all because you're going to have to sustain notes for two and a half hours. So I, so you can kind of break some cello rules. I sat all the way in the back of my chair and I... And luckily, you know, it was mainly all in first position, so I just kind of played not very loud, because I was mic'd. Um, no need to play loud. And just didn't work hard. I play, I pressed down just enough to make a good sound that was audible, and that was it. Because... I had to do that for two and a half hours, and by and even saving myself for there's a couple spots where I didn't really need to. There's a couple spots in Les Mis where if you just copied it and gave it to someone who hadn't played Les Mis before, they'd be like, "Is this a popper? Is this a popper etude?" Because, <laughs> um, and if you've played Les Mis, you know what parts I'm talking about. Um, so those, so you need to save yourself for the hard parts, but when you're just playing, like, and I dreamed a dream and, and all that stuff, where you're just doing the, like, the, like, the half note scales, don't try hard, because no one can see you, and everyone
was just listening to her sing. You're, they're just listening to them sing, so you're not really as important. Um, what else about musical theater? Um, it's a good way to make friends because friends of different of a different part of the arts. Um, you learn things about singers if you haven't been, been around very many singers before. Um, uh, what else about musical theater? They're fun people. They're, I mean, it's a fun time. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's about all I have to say about musical theater. It's a lot of fun. Bye!